Hello and welcome back. Let's get back into it. We're going to be playing Dumbo. As you can see, I've got a saved character down here, but uh, we're working with Dumbo today. <laughs> and of course, Reggie is going to be our tried and true companion. Uh, no roommate sleeping today, so I can actually be a little bit louder, which is kind of nice. There we are. All right, let's take a look at Reggie. Reggie's bloody, which... Yeah, that makes sense. He's in a defensive stance since I gave him the, uh, I think it was the longsword trait? Yeah. And I'm looking good. I'm looking perfect. You know what I'm saying? So we got a couple trade goods. Let's just take a peek at where we are in the map. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to continue to head east. I want to get to at least oop, level, hmm, let's see. Maybe level five, level eight I'd be comfortable with. Come along, Reggie. Okay, there he is. So, I do see a crocodile. Where are you, crocodile? And we're gonna laze him. Oh, and Rob Grayson, thank you so much for mentioning it. Uh, if I hit A, I've got ambient light turned on. But I should actually, I should actually turn that off. Because I don't really need it toggled on. Because I have night vision. And now, enemies will not be able to see me, but I'll be able to see enemies. Well, at least at night. And in caves. Looks like that was the only baddie on this screen, so Reggie and I are going to continue. Uh, I'm going to move my mouse cursor, so that's not right in your face. Oh, there's a crocodile. I get you, buddy. I'm leaning pretty heavily on Lay's, even though it does uh, have a bit of a cooldown after a short amount of time. I think I have about four. <laughs> I should know that for sure, because that could get me killed one day. Yeah, I think I have about four shots of it. Now it just turned to Jewel Dusk. Hmm, such a good name. I'm just gonna swim across here. Reggie's no longer bloody. I find that I obsessively clean my companions after they get all bloody and gory. Not seeing a whole lot on this screen. So I might even just head north. Just kind of shake it up a little bit. Let's take a look here. Oh, so we see a fire there, a campfire. Oh, Mama Sita walked right into that. Reggie! Oh dear. Okay, so we are currently at seven hit points. I'm gonna hit my sprint and we are gonna run out of this screen. Run away! Oh, so Reggie killed someone up there. But I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna try to heal. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, Reggie, look what you've done. A hand axe, painted iron short sword. Now, am I... I could use that painted iron short sword, but here's one of my favorite things. When you see anything that's painted or engraved, you can actually look at the story. This item is painted with a scene from the life of an ancient sultan, Naxus II. At a remote observatory in Turnip, <laughs> Naxus II invented a star tool that invoked the presence of a shining telescope. He named it, cleverly, Telescopia. Or, yeah, I'll let that go. We're gonna equip that, because that is a pretty little dagger. Um, do I have shoes? I do. Reggie doesn't, but honestly, they don't give you any armor value, they don't give you any dodge value. Why bother? All right, let's see if we should launch ourselves into the fray. Got a little, oh, you little monkey. Yeah, I wanna hit you. Ha ha, level four. Sing. Let's just see what he had. Just a fine wood sap mask. Now those actually protect you from noxious gas and vapor. Which, if I'm not wearing one, I might as well. You wear it on your face. Oh, he's there. I'm just gonna quickly heal before I, oh, Mama Sita. Okay, so these are Snapjaw warriors. They're a little bit tougher than the average bear. Although, actually, this guy's got the better equipment. I'm gonna hit the snap jaw something or other. 
then I'm just gonna laze this guy. Oh, he is munching me. Okay, there we go. Sturdy staff, that means it actually won't break as easily. I wonder if Reggie would be better off with an axe. I can't remember, did I give him his stuttered leather armor? Perfect. He's actually more well equipped than I am. Darn, Reggie. Let's continue. So now these fellows aren't seeing me. Oh, a chest. Oh, delicious. Hey, an engraved bar bronze axe. Let's see who this is about. Oh, this is about Naxus One. So deep in the amethyst worshiping city state of Quatzortara, Naxus stumbled upon a clan of robots performing a secret ritual. Because of his digital visage, they furiously rebuked him and declared him a villain to their kind. Now we know why that happened. Sometimes you can actually learn of different locations and you can learn how they were like if it's an artifact that's on the engraving you can learn how they were lost and you can have a quest to find them oh, we don't need any of that ready leave it be aha oh reggie just gained a level now i'm gonna <laughs> dominate him <laughs> and we're gonna take a look at reggie's skills really quickly Reggie is excellent at, oh, he actually has staunch wounds. Here's what I've heard about followers is that they don't actually use the staunch wounds. Skill, because they're not very smart. Reggie does have long blades, but he actually doesn't have the, yeah, he doesn't have the oomph to back it up with. He's got none of the skills that will help him get that. Even though he's at, I think he's at 16 for everything. He's got no attribute points, and he's really close to a mutation point. Ah, oh, Reggie, you're my experiment! Um... We could make him a little bit tougher to hit. But he's just not a very skilled young man. He could shake it off? Maybe we'll do that. I've never really invested in those types of points myself. Uh, he's... Yeah, carrying a bunch of junk. Got a lot of food though, Reggie. I like that about you. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna end my domination. Uh, D. Yes. Thanks, Reggie. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. And we're still looking for the rest of the snap jaws. There's one. Hmm. Now, I could dual wield. I might do that. I'm not really that savvy, but I don't think I want to do two short swords. In the comments, if you know if that gives you a, a debuff. Oh, goodness gracious. Did you hear that? It sounded like a gunshot. Ooh. Oh, baby. Sturdy Borderlands Revolver. Let's take a little peek. Now, unlike most roguelikes, when you equip a a missile weapon, it's actually in a different hand, <laughs> I guess, than your weapon weapons. So we're gonna pop that on. I think it does, let me just check my equipment. Yeah, 1d6. That's amazing. That's so good. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. I don't think I'm carrying a whole lot of yeah, I have no ammo. So I might it might be worth me going back into town to actually grab some ammo. So I might just quickly hop, skip, and jump over. Hello, everybody. I'm back. I haven't done any of your quests. Let's talk to Tam. Hello, Tam. I want some of your lead slugs. He does have a weird artifact today, which is kind of cool. And I'm always going to grab vine wafers. I don't have any bandages. Hmm. I'm gonna start, wow, that engraved, en sorry, engraved, engraved beaded bracelet is actually worth 112 bucks. A lot of the inventory management is based on, do I have enough space to carry this? Can I carry this much weight? So let's give over one of our poopier ones. And I'm actually gonna get rid of this junk because I'm not gonna use it. And I'd like to buy all 10 bandages. Is that a bit too much? No, 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 no. It's good. Um, it's worth it to me to get some extra copper nuggets. Like I said, they're light. They are worth money. 
Hmm. Although I am kind of thinking about that weird artifact. At this point, I don't know what it is. You have to buy it and find out what it is, unless you already know what it is. But I, I don't know if I'm that tempted. I've got 78 drams, and the reason I'm saying that I have 78 drams is because I can actually see that I have 78 dollars. You can't see, but I'm making air quotes. They're drams. All water is money in this game. Ugh, oh, such a good game. Um, okay, so I think I'll just... Uh, yeah, let's buy it. Worst case scenario, we have something, yeah, to give Argyle. Or Argyle. Argive. So let's head to inventory and examine it. Poison gas grenade. Now, I haven't had a lot of success using gas. Well, let's be honest, any grenades in this game. So I usually end up trading them and getting rid of them. So here you go, my friend. Excellent. And of course, he wants another one. Because who's satisfied with just one? I have a couple options in terms of where I want to go. I'm just going to hit L and I could explore these salt marshes on this side. And even perhaps start in the desert canyons. Although this is where you start to see pretty serious groups of snap jaws. I might explore this area. What's the worst that could happen? Let's head here. Come along, Reggie. He like, wants to hang out with his old friends. But I'm sorry, Reggie. We are on an adventure. Okay. Stepping a little more carefully, more cautiously. Although it looks like this is deserted. Wow, we got close with that little snapjaw warrior kind of busting our grill. You gotta watch out for those guys. Especially so early in the game. I mean, I wonder how what the percentage of cud runs is that end in the first 10 minutes of gameplay. I mean, I'm still in the danger zone, let's be honest with one another. Reggie, are you? No? Okay. Just checking. Now, Reggie does have the harvestry skill, so as long as he's with me, <laughs> as long as he loves me, oi, we will be able to gain food. Haha! -ha! Way to go, Reggie. Actually, you know what? Honestly, I don't think Reggie did a damn thing. He's got nothing against crocodiles. And sometimes that'll happen. Your characters that you're having us follow you, they won't attack certain creatures. So do with that knowledge what you will. Oh, what is that? Do you see that little guy? It's an oddly hued glow pad. This glow pad seems to be running a small shop. What? He's wearing an ape fur hat. He's got a weird artifact and he's friendly, but impossible. Um, Reggie, let us go and chat with this young glow pad. Psst. Hey, can I interest you in some consortium wares? <laughs> Is the answer. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at the stuff he's got. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, Reggie, you and I are going to be talking to this guy a lot. So there's an engraved weird artifact. And now, even though I don't know what the weird artifact is, I can kind of tell that it's going to be a piece of weaponry. Probably like a pump shotgun or even like a carbine. I think I'm saying that right. I'm going to buy his lead slugs because that's the way I roll. I could finish off that quest for Argo. Ooh, fullerite dagger. Matte black material. That's pretty darn good. And I actually have something that I could buy that with. Oh, he's got recoilers. Now, recoilers are... Items that help you zip back. It's almost like a teleportation device. The small trinket that's in square brackets there, that's actually a, a like a chem cell, probably. Hmm. Oh, I love this guy. Oh, we're going to work for him for a while. I think I'm just going to bring him all kinds of goodies. And hopefully we can buy some of this extra stuff. The Plastifier sneakers are really cool. They are better than most shoes in the game. That I've seen so far. <laughs> I shouldn't shouldn't speak so quickly. We 
could use that leather cloak, although I'm kind of digging my worn burnous because I think it gives me a little bit of extra carrying capacity. Hmm. And I mean, although that's a lot of money to spend on Reggie, I could get him a big beefy plate armor. Because not much in the beginning of the game is going to get past that. I think I'm going to grab the dagger. And I really should grab the recoiler. I'm going to get one though. So maybe I'll grab the grit gate one. I love that gold nugget. I want that too. I could just trade up, I guess. Actually, no, I'm going to have to spend my, my, tr my stuff. Uh, I'm close there. He'll give me some water if I do that. Mm. Do I really want to do this? Yeah, you know what? It's about survival. Okay, so let us... Oh, easy girl. We're going to pop this dagger on in my right hand. Because it'll be my primary attack. So I could sell this to him right away, but let's just peek at the map really quick. Okay, so he's on this square-ish. Each one of these squares represents about, I think, four map tiles or so. So we will definitely be coming back here. Because I want to buy his entire inventory. And that was just randomly generated. He's not always going to be there. Ooh, okay. So we're seeing some drop stuff. Hmm, very interesting. Looks like it's mostly wooden arrows, but I wouldn't mind if I should actually reload my Borderlands revolver. What is with all these torches? I'm actually not going to pick them up because they're heavy and they're not worth much. Not seeing any baddies. Oh, what's this? Cloth robe. We're not interested. No, thank you. Let me just kind of tuck around here. Another arrow. I'm going to pick him up. I'm not sure why. Ooh, just hit zero, which is auto explore. Yeah, someone was just running around here dropping all their stuff. Okay. We'll keep heading this way. Oh, I got hurt. <laughs> Whoops. You never run in this game. You never dash around. Because that's a great way to get killed right away. Just going to quickly take a peek across. Reggie's very patient with me as I explore. Thank you, Reggie. Not seeing a baddie on this screen yet. But that kind of makes sense. The farther you get away from the starting zone, usually. Aha! Crocodile. Thank you, Reggie, for nothing. Listen, he's he's useful, even though it doesn't seem like he's useful ever. It's nice to have him. So we're gonna head to the next zone. Uh, looks like we found ourselves a farm. Now these have been life-saving in the past. For me, I sometimes I forget that I need to take a skill. If you try to break these fences you will be attacked by the farmer's animals. Let's walk in here, take a look. So Reggie can actually harvest all this stuff, but I have a feeling I would probably gain the ire of the apple farmer. So let's chat with him. See my whiskers? Star apples. They'll boost your vitality threefold. So I can actually trade with him. I'm gonna grab that copper nugget from him, I think, and just trade in my short sword, because there's no reason for me to carry it around. So, offer that, and he'll give me some drams. I'm not, however, gonna be carrying around the star apples, because they're actually like a pound a piece. And vine wafers are just so much better. So, anytime I can get that. Uh, so, he has <laughs> strange tubes, which I don't really need. Later on in the game, you'll end up finding sort of like recipe books, I suppose they're called. We'll remember where this is. Uh, recipe books that sometimes need things like cider in them. Okay, so it's broad daylight, and we're going to laze some of these lazy dudes. Boop. Reggie doesn't like those guys. No, cloth overalls, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. Sorry, Reggie. Excuse me while I disrobe in front of you. 
Um, turtles are kind of bad news, although I just saw in the patch notes that they've slowed turtles down, so you can actually kind of like run away from them. Oh, you're killing that Equimax, you jerk. I'm gonna laze him. It looks like, yeah, they were pretty handily taken care of. Uh, Reggie, you kind of already have all that stuff. Ooh, jewel encrusted bronze battle axe. That's worth a pretty penny. So we'll grab it. It's super heavy though, which kind of sucks. <sighs> More snap jaws, but unfortunately they're taking on the wrong baddies. Willowy leather armor. So that's actually very light armor. I'm not gonna grab it though. Not interested. Oh, the way is blocked by shale. This happens every so often. You just gotta find a little. There we go. Oh, Reggie. Easy does it, bud. Is he okay? He's fine. That's such a passive aggressive way to say it. I'm fine. Fine. Hmm. Just exploring here. Oh, salt hopper just ran right into him. I'm gonna try to get this salt hopper. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Oh, God. Okay. I'm gonna start to run, even though salt hoppers run faster than I do. <sighs> Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so he's being beset upon. Reggie, can you attack this creature? I'm gaining some hit points as I run. I think what I'm going to do is just completely run off this screen. Ay, ay, ay. I might be able to lose him if I run like this. Maybe. I have a feeling Equimaxes aren't really big fans of salt hoppers either. Oh, one day we'll kill that salt hopper. Might go north. Uh, what are we looking at? Uh, we got some glow crows, some salamanders. They are not fans of each other, which is kind of to be expected. There we go. Kill the tortoise. Now, Reggie is... He's perfect. He's just covered in blood. Ooh, Jilted Lover. Let's see if we can get a blossom out of it. Nope. All right. All right. Well, Reggie and I are going to keep exploring this area. I'm going to leave this episode off here. Have an awesome day, you guys. <laughs>